welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chukun Oso Chasso for ICOM. We shall discuss why every lawyer must be a computer literate. As a lawyer, must be a computer literate. So here, let's discuss what computer is all about. Well, a computer includes an electronic machine that access data, process data, process information for future retrieval. So once your data is being processed, you, sh you should know that it should be retrieved for future purpose. Though you know, so sometimes computer has disadvantage, like we talk when we talk about um, virus. But even if you have virus, there is antivirus. Virus is what destroys your documents, especially when, especially when you want to trespass an in internet. It destroys those information you want to get or the one you've gotten. So that's what virus does. Virus makes document or information to my function. That's what virus does. But we still have we call, we still have, we still have, we still have what we call antivirus, which protects our internet and computer from not being corrupted by virus. So in this situation, I advise every lawyer to be acquainted with computer. There is more importance in using computer. One, you save your information there, your data, your CV, email. You assess your email. You do your legal research. Legal research is now online. I do my legal research online as a scholar. I do my legal research online. Yes. As if you are watching my YouTube, if you are watching my YouTube, you know I'm a scholar and I'm proud of it. At least I manage, I manage, and I'm editor for over ten. Law International Journals, and I'm the current editor in chief of African Law Journal, so I'm proud of it. So, as 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 a lawyer that you are watching this YouTube channel, even if you're a scholar, it I'm 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 not I'm not saying that there's a I'm not saying that there's a scholar that, that you should not have a material that means offline materials. No, you can have it, but most important to have online materials. It will make you. It will make you to become a, a digital somebody and a first century lawyer, and it will even it will even reduce your cost. All those money you are spending buying those, you can just use it and buy small data and assess it online. Go to uh, law pavilion <coughs> and others. You assess all these things. We have many materials. You can even go to Amazon and get those materials. So is there any need of you just packing those books you, 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 that, that is kept in your in your law library that is kept in your chambers using it to get people some of them five hundred pages some of them one thousand pages some of them three thousand pages just jump that using it to them even some of you don't even read it so they don't even do the research they just use it to intimidate clients and others I'm sorry to say that but that is true <laughs> so what am I saying I advise all the lawyers to to be acquainted with computer to be computer literate it will help you in a lot of things even you even you advertising your work. You can advertise your work indirectly, though you know advertisement is somehow prohibited in legal profession. But that's how you can even advertise your advertise your advertise your 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 your, your firm. Yes, you can. There's other many ways of doing it. Ah, so this so 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 as as a matter of fact, I advise you to do that. Even all the information, every information you need, your client, every client that you get, you may you open a folder, you write the folder. Let me assume that the name of your folder is Ajibo. You write. Ajibo, Ajibo's folder. When you write Ajibo's folder, you carry it up. You save it with that. That is data. Anything that comes up, you just write. You just write the person's. You just write. You say brief. Ajibo's brief. When you write, you save it. You save it there. You save it in that particular. You save it in that particular folder called Ajibo folder. So, did you get it? So, when you save it, any information you get about that person, then if you still get another new, 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 new clients, let's just assume. That maybe 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 your client is Ola. You wrote you just you can just write Ola as a as a Ola's folder. You do the same. You see every information you get. You save it there. It is very easy. As a matter of okay, let me just assume maybe you maybe you you're, you're afraid of those things being corrupted. You can still save in your internet. Um, Gmail has ha, ha, has a provision for that, and it can be corrupted in Gmail. So it is very advantageous. For you as a 21st century as a as a 21st century lawyer to be using internet to be using computer it is very advantageous especially in nigeria lawyers have refused to grow in nigeria especially especially our especially our elders especially our senior lawyers especially especially, especially our lecturers we must grow change is inevitable you cannot avoid change change is unavoidable so we need to you need to you need to be acquainted with change. You need to accept it. You need to adapt to new things. So that's one of the things we need to do. As a matter of fact, you have many as an uncountable advantage.
of using internet. All this, there's nothing you do offline that you cannot do online. There's nothing you do offline that you cannot do online. Everything that, that, that a lawyer does in chamber, it can be done online. As a matter of fact, even, if, 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 even now, there's a, there, there's a robot that is trying to replace lawyers that can answer some questions. Some reasonable question you ask, you can answer. The only question you can answer is the question that was not uh, 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 installed within him. Because you know, computer is garbage in, garbage out. Gigo. It is whatever is garbage in that, that's what it brings out. So that is it. So I advise, I, I advise all the lawyers to try to be appointed to go for computer trade. If you're not computer trade, just bring yourself down and the, uh, go to computer trade. Or you can equally invite them to your office to lecture you or educate you what computer is all about. At least if you just know maybe um, appreciation, computer, computer appreciation, um, Microsoft Word, Internet, I think it's okay. I'm not, I'm not telling you maybe to know appreciation, computer appreciation, um, or Microsoft Word, um, or Internet, um, Excel, uh, what is it called again? Um, um, Cora Draw. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that you should know all those. At least know those little ones. Appreciation is very important. Microsoft or the internet is very important. You may not even know publisher and other ones. So, it's just little ones for you to, just for you to cope. So, you can be able to access internet. You can be able to access your computer. You can be able to, 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 to write. You can be able to, to type. So, that is it. So, I advise every lawyer to be acquainted to get yourself knowledge of computer. Please, like, subscribe, and comment. God bless you.